had a quick weekend trip to Nashville with a good friend of mine. While we were excited to tour the city and view all that it has to offer, we didn't want to concentrate our trip on downtown Nashville. We flew in Thursday afternoon and spent some time on Music Row, grabbing a bite to eat for lunch, and then popping in a few honky-tonks. Friday morning, we headed to the Parthenon in Centennial Park. Admission is $10 into the museum and entry is in the lower level of the Parthenon. There is also a gift shop upon entry and exit into the museum. Originally built for Tennessee's 1987 Centennial Exposition, this recreation of the nearly 42 feet tall Athena statue is the focus of the Parthenon just as it was in ancient Greece. The building and the Athena statue are both full-scale replicas of the Athenian originals. The original statue was constructed in 5th century BCE using a combination of cast gold and carved ivory and assembled in sections. The modern statue was made between 1982 and 1990. It was cast in sections and assembled, but made with modern materials, compound gypsum cement, and chopped fiberglass that's attached to a steel frame. It is covered in 23.75 karat gold leaf and painted to resemble ivory. The Parthenon also serves as Nashville's art museum, so we were able to view some 19th and 20th century paintings by American artists as well as temporary exhibits in the gallery spaces. While we were there, they were setting up the newest exhibit in the East Gallery, a Nashville premiere, Duncan McDaniel's Fountain. This exhibit will be on display until March 31st, 2024. McDaniel is renowned for his playful interactions with light, color, and sculptural design elements. Once our tour was complete, we walked on Centennial Park Trail Loop, which is adjacent to the Parthenon. We made our way around Lake Wataga, seeing the Parthenon from different vantage points. Then we headed over to Centennial Park, Sunken Garden, to snap a few photos. Saturday, we decided to go for a hike at Harpeth River State Park. The Harpeth River State Park is a linear park that manages nine river access sites along 40 river miles. Sites include several natural, archeological, and historical areas. The park is popular for kayaking, canoeing, fishing, and hiking. Gossett Track is a two-mile loop through open fields and is great for birders and late summer wildflower hikes. The Narrows of the Harpeth has three hiking trails that originate at a common trailhead near the park entrance. A half-mile bluff overlook trail includes a steep ascent to a narrow bluff offering hikers a panoramic view of the Harpeth Valley. A half a mile trail along the backside of the limestone bluff leads to the site of Montgomery Bell's Pattison Forge, where a small waterfall is all that remains of the Iron Forge operation. It is also the site of one of the oldest man-made tunnels in existence today. Montgomery Bell, an early iron industrialist, had the tunnel built in 1818. The 100-yard tunnel was hand-cut through solid rock and is considered one of the great engineering feats of the time. It is an industrial landmark on the National Register of Historic Places. Finally, there is a third-mile trail that ends at the Harris Street Bridge. Our hotel was in Brentwood, so we walked to the little downtown area that evening. There's a mural, local restaurants, bars, and some small shops. Sunday morning concluded our stay in Nashville, as it was a very early flight home. While we didn't get to enjoy all the city has to offer, I was happy to spend our time between the city and country scenes. Nashville has the hustle and bustle of music and nightlife, but we also enjoyed staying in a small town and exploring some of the more quaint towns and state parks outside of the city. 
What did we miss? What should we do next time we visit? 